Hi, my name is Kent Lee and I teach computer science at Luther College. In this video I'm going to show you how to write a Python program. Um, Python is a very interesting programming language because we can do some very fun things with it with just a little bit of experience. Um, but it also can serve as a very uh, rudimentary calculator for uh, computing values uh, much like you would on your on your own calculator. So let's assume that we want to compute the volume of a rectangular solid and use it like a calculator to use Python like a calculator to find out what the uh, the volume of that solid might be. So let's say that we are given the dimensions of this solid and uh, we are told what the width is. In a calculator we might type in that width in our calculator and then press store to store it in some kind of a, a memory location within our calculator. Within Python, we can do this by typing the name of the location where we would like that value stored. So we could say, for example, width equals, and then say what that width is. So let's say the width is equal to 6.2. So if I type that then, um, I have now stored in my calculator, in my Python calculator, the variable, what's called the variable width. If I type width at the prompt here. I can go ahead and find out what its width is. Its width in this case is 6.2. Um, so I can likewise store what the height is. The height is equal to um, let's say 4.8 and let's say that the uh, depth is equal to um, 3.2. 3.2 Okay, so we have three values stored in our calculator now. Width, we have seen. Height is there, it's 4.8. And uh, depth is there as well, 3.2. So if I want to know what the volume of my rectangular solid is, it would be the width times the height um, times the depth and I would find out that it's 95.232, whatever the units are, let's say that they're in uh, cc. So um, each of our units is centimeters, and we've, con we've uh, calculated that our solid is 95.232 cc's. Okay, so uh, that's interesting. Um, that 95.232, I didn't store that anywhere. I could easily store that if I'd like to by saying volume equals width times height um, times depth and it doesn't tell me now what the volume is until I type volume and I can see that that value is stored in my calculator. So we have this ability to, to uh, type in values in this Python calculator and to, uh, to store values and we do this from within the Python shell. You should notice I'm in the Python shell here. So I can type things into the Python shell, have them evaluated immediately within Python, and try them out. So that's interesting, but not extremely useful for us because we would like to be able to write a program that will work for uh, any width, height, and depth. So to do that, I come up to the top and I say create a new file here, and I have an edit pane now that I can type into. So within this edit pane, I can type in the same kinds of Python commands that I typed down below here, and, uh, and then I will be able to run it. So let's just go ahead and, and do that. Width is equal to uh, 6.2. Um, height is equal to um, uh, 4.8 and depth is equal to 3.2 and now I can compute my volume. My volume is equal to the width times the height uh, times the depth. So in this Python program, I could go ahead and run this, and as we saw before, we would run it with the debug button. I'll go ahead and save this file, put it on my desktop here, and we'll call it uh, volume.py. 
We should name our programs with a .py on the end. That signifies that they are a Python program, and that's just a, a good practice to, to use there. So I'll save that. I have just run that program. I can click the debug button again here so we can see. I ran that program, and nothing appeared down here in the debug I.O. window. So this is an uninteresting program at this point because it, it did the calculation, but we never told it to display the calculation. So we can go ahead and tell it to display the calculation if we would like. We can go ahead and print um, the volume to the screen. So just like we printed Hello World in an earlier video, we can print the volume to the screen here so that we can go ahead and see it. And sure enough, 95.232 appears on the screen. It'd be nice to print a little bit more information about this, uh, what this 95.232 is. It turns out that we can add some text to our print statement if we want to. And to do that, we have to tell Python that we want to print characters to the screen. And we saw in the last video that we have to signify that we want to print characters to the screen by putting them in quotes. So we're going to print um, the volume is, I'll change that, volume is, and a single quote at the beginning and the end, and then we can put a comma between values that we want to print in a print statement. So the first value we're going to print is this, what's called a string, the volume is, and the second that we're going to print is the variable volume. Notice volume is not in quotes here, so that is the what's called a variable, and it is the value that we stored in memory at that variable name. So now if I run this, I see the volume is, and then I get the volume printed out to the screen there. Now we can make this even more interesting if we would like to by getting some input from the user. And uh, to get input from the user, we can use the input function to get input. Now the input function, when it, it uh, reads something from the keyboard, it asks the user to enter something at the keyboard, but it always reads a string and we want to make sure that we convert that string to another type, a real number in this case, or what's called a float. So I'm going to alter this program just a little bit, and I'm going to ask the user to enter some input. Um, so I will say input, um, please enter the width of the solid. Okay, and again, the input function here is going to, when I run this, it is going to, and let's just run it right now and we can see, it prints, please enter the width of the solid at the screen, and it stops right there. It doesn't go any further. So I could enter 4.8 if I wanted to, and I get a, an error at this point from running the program. The error, if I look over here, it says that I can't multiply a sequence by non-int uh, of type float. So I am trying right here to multiply width, but it turns out that the width variable is has a different value. And if I click on stack data, I can find out some information about the, the types of values that I have in my program. So this error is caused because I have uh, a bad type. You can see right here, width, so if I clicked on stack data and I opened up locals, and I look here at width, and I see that width is 4.8, but it's 4.8 in quotes. I actually meant to type 6.2, but it doesn't matter. The 4.8 is in quotes, and that's not something I can multiply times the number 4.8 and the number 3.2. So the error that I got is right here because I tried to multiply the string 4.8 times the number 4.8, and that didn't make any sense. So we're going to learn how to fix that here. Um, uh, and the way to fix that is to go ahead and convert that integer into a float. And you can do that by writing float in front of it. Uh, it, around basically the string that we get. So this input right here is going to get a string, 
and then we're going to convert it to a float by putting the word float in front of it and putting a parenthesis before and after the input there. So now if I click stop, I can stop this program and go ahead and run it again. And I'll enter 6.2 here, and it tells me again that I've got 95.232 as my result. So I've shown you how to go ahead and write a program in Python. First of all, I showed you how you could use Python as a calculator. Um, but then it's more interesting for us to actually go ahead and run write a program in an edit pane and run that program and see what its output is. We'll be going through many more examples of this in future videos, but this is a, a good start for us anyway.